Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy X walkthrough. Uh, we are just exiting the Remium Temple. Uh, in the previous video I actually mentioned that I may, you know, splice in some footage of the uh, chocobo race down there, but uh, I just, uh, I decided against it because that wasn't when I actually finished it. So uh, I figured what I would do was just, you know, for continuity's sake, I would just, uh, I guess, toss it in whenever I actually did it. Now, I know for sure that was towards the end of the game. So, you know, if that's something that you're interested in, uh, you know, seeing footage of, I guess stay tuned. Uh, it's it's not going to be anytime soon though. It it really won't be. It'll be probably one of the probably one of the last videos, or at least fairly close to it. Uh, however, I'm trying to think of what I'm actually going to do for this video, I think now that I, yeah okay. So now that I have the cloudy mirror, uh, the plan was to power it up and get the celestial mirror, and you can do that literally right away. Um, all you have to do is basically leave the calm lands, which I took a wrong turn there. You have to go around the right side of that. What are you doing, buddy? Alright. I hopped off the chocobo on accident. <laughs> and jumped back on for a couple of steps, and then now we just have to leave again. Alright, anyways. Uh... You know, this this spot here, I'm not exactly sure what what I did wrong, but there was, um, I was getting hung up. But uh, what happens here is there's a lady and her son, I believe it is, or is it, a, is it a little girl? I guess we're about to find out here. Yeah, right here. Oh, is that a little boy? That's a little, yeah, that's a little boy, okay. All right, so she's supposed to meet the husband here, and he hasn't shown up. I think he is back at the old campsite, so I I sure think, anyway, that I'm going the wrong way. Uh, but I did want to check on one thing up here. I think, anyway. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is an NPC blocking the path to the to the area that we need to go. So, as soon as I get my butt moving here again, we can go investigate. Okay, yeah, so I must have realized that I was going the wrong way. Uh, like I said, so you have to talk to the lady and the little boy, and then uh, you run back to the campsite. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember... Uh, this has been a couple of times now where I've gotten hung up here, and I, I wasn't sure exactly how to progress things. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening, or how I how I went about it. All right. So here we are. We go up to this northern part where we had the the campsite at before, and here is the father. Yep. Yeah, pick the top option, obviously. And then we'll run back to where the mother and son were at. I think that guard will kick you out. If you try to go into Bavel, I think he'll just tell you to leave. All right, you're there. I'm going to up with a husband. Wow, holy. Am I going through puberty again? What happened there? <laughs> Anyways. It seems to me that the sun is gone, and uh, he should be up here, but all right, so you got an NPC block in the way. So I don't know what I actually did to get her to move, but uh, I believe the sun is up farther on up there. I can't, nope, actually I couldn't see him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so I'm, I'm curious what I actually ended up doing here. I, I felt like uh, something happened where it wasn't pro uh, like I wasn't progressing. So I don't know what I did to make that lady get out of the way. Uh, but I think maybe when I 
I'm not sure uh, if I went up towards the uh, what you call it the the travel agency or if I went all the way back to the Thunder Plains, but something got her out of my way. Oh no! You know what I think it was? I think I had to. I think my mistake was not talking to the husband twice and then the mother twice. I think that's what I. I think that's what I did wrong. Yeah, we know. All right. Let's head back down. I'm not sure when the when the realization hit me, but uh, we'll find out here. All right, not that time. Yeah, so here I go, down to the Thunder Plains. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this isn't what actually progresses it. I think that uh, in order to get that lady to move, I think, I'm pretty sure you have to talk to the, the father and the mother twice each. So let's just see here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the it wasn't too long before the realization kicked in. <laughs> Man. Uh, Alright, let's head back up again. Pretty sure she's still there. Yeah, so this was like trial and error. I think it was like, alright, well, okay, I'll try, try this. Yeah, alright, she's still there. <laughs> Get out of my way. All right, go back, buddy. Come on. I'm coming up towards the end of this segment, so I know it's not much longer before I figured it out. I'm still trying to see. I, I don't think I can see the little boy up there because he does end up. Uh, he ends up just past her, and uh, I was trying to try to sneak a peek and see if he was up there already, but I couldn't see. Oh gosh, please! No. All right, we're gonna run this way. Back to the campsite again, I'm sure. Yep. Hmm. There's a treasure chest back there. That must be opened already. I don't remember what was in there, but... If I don't remember, that means I probably thought it was junk. There was a riot in Bavel. Okay. Is that what they're calling it? Propaganda. That's not what happened. All right, this has got to be it. There it is. But my son went back off into the woods. There we go. All right. So I'm pretty positive that is what triggers this lady to move out of the way. Yeah, no, she's gone. All right. And there's the little boy. Uh, I think... I think that was their way of trying to get you to explore this area, was looking for the little boy. Uh, that's my thought, anyway. I'm not really sure, but... All right, so now we've got it. Uh, obviously, the cloudy mirror transformed into the celestial mirror. And again, I'm not sure if you can open up the, you know, the treasure chest for all, or actually obtain the weapons without the celestial mirror, or if you actually have to power it up. I mean, I guess I would just suggest powering it up because why not? It's super easy. And uh, I think what I'm going to do here is I'll head back. And I'm not, uh, I probably should have done this in a better order, order but I know I go and get uh, the Calibolg. Uh, that's Titus's celestial weapon. And then uh, at some point, 
very soon here. I'll p I pick up Kamari's and Yuna's as well. And in all honesty, it would have been smarter for me to go back to the Thunder Plains right now instead of uh, coming all the way to the the uh, Calm Lands first. So I kind of did this in a poor order, but I am going to cut a ton of this out because yeah, now I'm... All right, so I cut out all the all the running and fighting up to the the trainer and then now I cut out all of my failed attempts and oh my gosh I failed it actually wasn't that bad this time um, like I said earlier or in, a, in the previous video I think it only took me about a half an hour uh, to actually do this successfully so I'm gonna give you this is actually my second to the last run so this one <laughs> I was I was doing pretty good here, right out, right away, and then it kind of just fell apart. But uh, the run, the run right after this one is the is the actual successful. And I did get really close there that other, that or one other time, in a in this series of, you know, a half an hour or whatever. But it looks like, so it looks like down at the bottom it says my best time is 2.5. So I got really close. So either that time I. You know, all it would have taken would have been either one less hit from a uh, seagull or one more balloon. Uh, and I don't know if I explained this before, and the, there is a there is a nice little tutorial that that comes with this. But um, every balloon you get shaves off three seconds, and every time you get hit by a seagull, adds three seconds. So that's why you can get to zero. All right, so we're at two, three four five balloons right off the bat that's about as good a start as you're ever gonna get um so here's six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen oh my gosh look at this fourteen oh nope almost there's fourteen and then i finally get hit but I got hit at him. Oh man, that's like, that was such a good run. That was really good. Obviously. <laughs> um, so I got hit by one right there towards the end. But luckily, you know, I didn't get like chain hit because sometimes that's the worst. Is when you're when you're in a an area right next to the end, especially is uh, is one of the worst places. But if you get hit once uh, in the wrong spot. Uh, you can just keep getting pegged one like uh, one after another just because of the way the, or the spot that they fly down in uh, but there's the Sun sigil that is necessary for powering up uh, the Calibolg and here like I was said in the previous video too uh, whenever you actually beat the the trainer and you don't necessarily have to get a zero you don't have to get your time at zero to beat her all you have to do is have a better time than her and uh, that, this guy will move, and then you can walk down here into the, I don't know what this is called. And here, this was so risky. I should have just run. Uh, this was a really bad idea for me to even fight because I had just got my zero, my perfect timing. I had just got the sun signal. And uh, I, for whatever reason, I just got cocky here. And uh, this very well, I mean, Granted, my characters are pretty powerful, you know, I was pretty confident I was going to be able to take this guy down, but it was just a bad idea in general. The, uh, the amount of risk that comes into uh, uh, fighting a, a Marlboro, you know, right after, right after getting that perfect time, I don't know, it was just a bad idea. Anyways, uh, it turned out okay. I think, uh, I don't even know, it looks like maybe he's going to get an attack off, which... Oh, okay. There you go. No time so his next attack would have been a bad breath. In all honesty, that very well could have wiped me out right there if he would have landed that bad breath. So, food for thought. Don't let it happen to you. I probably would have been in complete rage mode if uh, if I would have lost right there. And got a game over. Had to do the uh, the chocobo trainer over. Oh my gosh, that would have been so horrible. All right, there it is, Calibog. So that's the first one. 
Uh, I'm just gonna show you right here. So the the unpowered up or the the not powered up version has no AP on it and absolutely no abilities. So they're completely worthless. Um, and they they will stay that way. They will stay worthless until you actually power them up. And like I said before, uh, each, each one of those has a sigil and a crest. Uh, I think I would almost argue that Titus is the easiest to get. I don't know. Well, maybe not. Chokeable Catcher is not that easy. That is not. That's not very fun. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe that's not the best one or the easiest one to do. Uh, all right, so I'm, uh, I took a little cut here just because uh, I didn't want to show you guys. I ran all the way to, uh, what is this, the travel agency here. And um, I just came to get this treasure chest and then do, do some capturing while I was here. Uh, so the one thing I do want to say, though, is absolutely do not run all the way back to the Makalania Temple yet because you will be attacked by Dark Shiva and... Luckily, I saved before I unknowingly ran all the way no over there and got Let's my go. ass beat. Um, <laughs> it is way too early in the game to try to take her on, and uh, there's there's no option of running. So once you walk down to that temple and you get attacked, you are getting attacked by Dark Shiva, and there's no way to get away. So again, save your game. Make sure you don't run all the way down there like I did. Um, and that's that's one of the things I'm just I'm not used to that in this version because um, like I said this is the this is really the first time I've played uh, the you know the HD version and uh, I'm I'm really used to the the PlayStation version where you don't have dark aeons and so unfortunately they they kind of fight you without warning so you can just be you know, I wouldn't say wouldn't say minding your own business, but you can just be traveling around randomly, and then you get jumped by a dark aeon. So, uh, I'll try to point out, you know, some more more spots to not run. Um, you know, once once that uh, becomes an issue again. Uh, anyways, I did run all the way back here to to uh, the Thunder Plains to grab Kamari Spirit Lance. In all honesty, ah. I don't know how how much uh, or how how good of an idea it is to run all the way back here for these things, just because uh, I didn't have the sigils and it would have probably just been easier to uh, wait until I get the airship back. But you know, that being said, I guess I, I had the capture weapons too, so um, so yeah, so I made made good use of that, I suppose. Uh, the other thing that I didn't mention is, um, so I believe the Nirvana, you have to keep, catch one of each of the Calmlands monsters. Uh, and that's how you get the Nir Nirvana. The, uh, Orin has, uh, his crest, it's either his crest or his sigil, I forget which one, is tied to the monster arena as well. And I think it's something like you have to capture ten fiends in 10 different areas or something like that i forget i forget the exact uh, requirement but um uh you just just keep in mind too so uh with the whole capturing fiends thing you can capture up to 10 uh fiends in each area um you don't get a you know there's no re record for uh sorry a reward for going over your your 10 um, but, uh, the other thing is once you get like, you know, there's, there's certain rewards too in, in combinations of rewards. So one of them is like catch all the flan in all the different areas. And that, you know, gets you a reward from, from the, uh, the trainer or the, I don't know what to call that guy. The monster hunter. Anyway, we've got a boss fight. Summons from Lord Seymour. Come with us. We have nothing to discuss with Maester Seymour. Yeah, so out of our way. Lord Seymour's commands must be obeyed. You will come. 
I warn you. The Maester doesn't need you alive. Defender Z, I think. And this guy means business. This guy's actually super annoying. And he hits really, really hard. Uh, it looks like uh, I tried to go for the dark, just the regular dark attack, and it didn't land. So it's, uh, I think I have to, I think you have to use a uh, dark cluster on this guy instead. Which again is pretty unfortunate because that means you gotta cast it every turn, but that's all right. Uh, generally, from this point on, too, you'll see—well, up to a certain extent—but um, you're you're most likely gonna see me with all the capture weapons on. I don't typically swap them out for any boss fights or anything like that. Uh, I honestly just don't feel like it's that worth it. Uh, I don't typically use weapons that have you know like strength bonuses on them anyway. So, uh, you know, there, there just really isn't a point. Uh, anyways. Ooh, go for the triple foul. Okay. Uh, I don't know whatever. Uh, I don't know all the different things that can stick on him. Obviously, uh, we gotta, we're gonna want to keep Dark Buster on him. Uh, the other thing that you want to do is use Armor Break with Horin, which is pretty typical for boss fights. Uh... This guy does have a counterattack though that I think it takes half of your health. Half of sorry, takes half of your current health. Which I don't know. It's pretty annoying too. Uh, the good thing is when he does hit you, uh, he's oh I wouldn't say he's weak, but uh, a good power break on him is probably a good idea too. I don't know if that uh, that for sure lands or not. But uh, I mean, look at, so Dark Dark Buster here is doing doing work, and I don't I don't know why I keep using the triple fall. I'm pretty sure this guy isn't um, vulnerable to anything else. So I'm I'm really just th throwing mana out the window because it is more expensive than uh, than just Dark Buster. Uh, and I don't know what this guy can do to your ands. Um, I don't think he can banish them, but I'm, I'm, I'm betting he just smokes them really hard. They probably wouldn't last long. Last punch. Yeah, that's the that's the ability. Yeah, so it did four, 1,477, which is his now current health. And boom! Look at the haymaker. <laughs> Um, it looks like Dark fell off in a really bad time, or at a really bad time, and Yuna pays the price. Um, I'm not sure if Yuna would be a good choice to just leave in from this point. Uh, throwing some protects around wouldn't probably be the worst idea. Uh, unfortunately, you know, Protect isn't going to do anything for Blast Punch, but uh, it will for Haymaker. Although, I don't know, there's not a whole lot of characters I think in my... Well, maybe with a Protect they would be able to survive. And wow, okay, so Titus has Quick Hit already. So that means he's at the very end of his, his grid. I'm surprised I got that far with him at this point in the game. Anyways... Um, I, actually, I mentioned this before, and I wanted to bring it up one more time. Uh, when I, as I was going through the sphere grid with Titus specifically, I skipped over his delay attack and his delay buster. And in in hindsight, I think that was actually a really bad idea. Uh, again, you know, I actually I actually brought it up in one of the previous videos, but my thought process behind doing that was that then I wouldn't have to sort through a bunch of different commands. Because oftentimes, towards the end of the game, or in other playthroughs, 
I remember just spamming dark or uh, sorry quick attack with uh, all of my different characters, and uh, you know that that was a good strategy. The only problem was flipping through the menu, and when you learn, you know, towards the end of the game, we're gonna we're you're most likely gonna have uh, a bunch of different skills from a, a bunch of different trees, and then to have to scroll through all of them gets really annoying. So I thought, well, hey, why don't I just not learn all those? And then just learn quick attack. But the problem with that was that, uh, I mean, A, you're missing out on really good attacks. Delay attack and delay buster are awesome. And then on top of that, you don't need to do it anyway. Um, there's an option in the menu. Uh, the option is under configure, and it's something like cursor memory. And basically what it does is just remembers the options that you've picked during battle. It's awesome. This isn't the way in? That way leads down into the valley. Wow, you know your way around, yeah? Huh? All right, let's do it. Let's head down into the valley. Uh, one thing I kind of want to bring up while we're here is uh, actually, I think I walk over to him. There is a character down here named Durin. He is a Blitzball player, and he is a limited time only. Uh, he is arguably the in, the worst Blitzball player in Spira. Um, but he, you know, he's not going to be here forever. So <laughs> he's almost like, you know, he's almost like a missable. So I end up picking him up. I'm sure I'm going to kick him out. Uh, if I if I ever need to, and by that uh, I mean that later on in the game, there there could very well be a point where uh, I just want to get rid of him. Reason being, Waka uh, it, it ends up being a recruitable character for your Blitzball team. Uh, unfortunately, I don't foresee myself doing much with him because uh, he's he literally starts at level three, and all my characters are something like uh, I don't know seventies in the 70s, so uh, in order to try to catch him up, it would be quite the undertaking. But uh, Waka could end up with the best shot stat in the game uh, because of a certain technique. Uh, anyways, all right, so here's Durin. Right now, he's playing for the Guado Glories, uh, and I guess being that the issue has been brought up... Ooh, here's the Rusty Sword, too. By the way, you're going to need that for uh, Orin's... Uh, celestial weapon, uh, but Durin, or uh, sorry, I should say, anybody that you want to get on your Blitzball team, all you have to do is find out what team they're playing for, go to Exhibition, and play Exhibition games against them, and then once you're at the very last one, you can save your game, play the last game, and then if they don't kick them off the team, uh, then just reset your game, and uh, basically keep doing that until they kick them off the team so you can grab them. Anyways, I gotta cut this here, so uh, like, comment, subscribe if you guys wanna do. Hope these guys are helpful though, and hope you join me for more. Alright, thanks for watching.